Hey everyone, this is Just a Tech, your right to repair guy, and I welcome you all to my YouTube channel. First of all, wish you all a very happy Christmas. Enjoy your holidays and this festive time. And now we can proceed for today's method. So in today's video, I will show you how you can do the untethered bypass of the T2 MacBook activation lock screen on the latest iBridge OS 9.2. This is the latest fix for the recent Apple patch that has affected the T2 iCloud bypass service. But now we have fixed it, and it's fully working untethered way on the latest mac os sequoia 15.2 and the latest hybrid os 9.2 this is the new untethered method that means you can easily reboot or shut down your macbook without lock again also the ot updates are supported so you can update your mac after the iCloud bypass on the latest version this method works with a macbook that having the t2 intel chipset you can check out the supported model list on the screen if you have these model and a similar kind of issue then this video is for you so now without further delays let me just go to my computer screen and start this process all right so first thing you have to freshly restore your macbook on the latest hybrid os 9.2 so to restore your macbook you have to download one application that is the apple configurator 2 you just need to go to the app store and download it from there Now once you have download just open it and after that you have to restore your locked macbook with the latest hybrid OS 9.2 and then we can move further for the bypass process. It's very simple you have to just connect both the macs with a type C to C cable on the left side of the closest port and then you can restore your device. You have to put your locked mac into the DFU mode and you will see the apple configurator will detect your locked back and show you as a status is dfu detected and after that just right click on the apple configurator window where the dfu is written and then just hit on restore or you will get the similar option from the action and go to the advanced and click on restore so let me just show you how so now you can see my macbook is in the dfu mode and you will get this dfu detected screen on the apple configurator now just right click on it and click on restore or go to the actions from the above bar and then you can restore from it now just hit on restore and wait for it to get complete. It will take some time as per your internet connection speed. Now once the macbook restore process is done, your macbook will on again to the setup page. Just set up it to the activation lock screen again and in case after the apple configurator process you have restored your macbook and your locked macbook will show the internet globe recovery screen. Just connect with the wifi and set up your mac to the activation lock screen again and once everything is set up you have to again put your locked mac into the dfu mode so that we can start the bypass process. Alright so we have completed the apple configurator restore part. Next we have to download the bypass tool. For that check out the description. You will land on this mega website. From here you can download this HFZ T2 premium RAM this tool version 4.3.1. This is the latest version at the moment. So you can download from here and simply install it on your system. Now once the tool is installed and your lock mac is in the DFU mode already or if it's not in the DFU mode just press the button combination again to put in the DFU mode. Now once the DFU mode is done you will see your device details and the ECID on the HFZ tool. So before using the bypass tool, you have to register the ECID in order to use the tool. So for registration, it's very simple. You just need to copy your ECID and model number and send it to me on my personal telegram for the registration. And once the ECID is registered, you can instantly use the tool. 
okay so now i have registered my device in the tool server and just click on boot and prepare and start the bypass process now see it's working and exploiting the device let's wait for it to get complete and if you have a touch bar model Intel T2 Mac, you will see this verbose boot and exploit running on that touch bar. Now it's almost done and you will see it will just show wait for the device to boot up and click on activate. So just click on OK. Here you don't have to wait for the Mac to boot up. You just need to click on OK and activate button will appear and click on that. Because your Mac will not directly boot up. It will show it will boot up but just ignore that. You have to just click on OK and just directly click on activate and it will proceed further. Now you can see it start proceeding further. Let's wait. Now it's done. You will see the device is activated. Click on OK and now you can close the tool. We are done. Now on the locked MacBook, you will still get this black screen. Don't worry about that. You have to press the power button and after that, you have to be quick and you have to go to the internet recovery so that you can install the new OS from Apple. So you have to press the command plus R or option plus command plus R. You can use any and it will go to the recovery mode. For this time, I'm using option plus command plus R. That will give me the new recovery mode to the new macOS Sequoia directly or you can use the default recovery mode that is the command plus r that will give you the default os like catalina mojave high sierra as per your model but don't worry about that even if you use the command plus r old recovery mode you can update later your macbook to the newer version from the macbook settings after the bypass so you can use any of them both will work now you can see you will get this globe screen just connect with the wi-fi and proceed further Now it start downloading the operating system files you have to wait for it to get complete make sure your internet is fast it will take time according to your internet speed so i will skip this part and fast forward the video so that it will save time Now select your language and proceed further. You will get on this uh, recovery mode. This is the new recovery mode. As I mentioned, I have used option plus command plus R. But if you have used old recovery mode, that is the command plus R. The interface might be different, but everything will be same in the process. Now connect to the Wi-Fi. Now next go to the disk utility. If you are on old recovery mode, you will get this option from the top bar. Now from here, you need to erase your SSD and create the new partition. Now it's done, click on OK, close the disk utility. Now simply click on reinstall macOS Sequoia and proceed further. So now it's installing the OS and it will take time. So let's just wait for it to get complete. I will just skip this part or fast forward it so that it will save your time. Alright, so macOS Sequoia is successfully installed on my system. After the installation is done, you will see your Mac will be reboot and it will show the Apple logo with some loading bar. Just wait for it and after that you will get on this country or region selection page. Now from here, simply set up the Mac to the home screen. It's very easy, just follow me. Now we are at data and privacy page. Now simply set up the device.
Okay, so welcome to the Mac and you can see we have successfully bypassed the iCloud activation lock screen on the T2 MacBook on the latest iBridge OS 9.2 with the latest macOS Sequoia 15.2 version. You can check out everything works well with this method. And it's a completely untethered method that means you can reboot your device normally without lock again and all the features will work. So let me just directly power off the Mac and show you the method is fully untethered. Alright, so Mac is on again. You can see Untethered is working good. So you can also try this method if you have a similar kind of issues on your MacBook with a T2 chipset. You can try this method and easily do the full Untethered bypass. Everything will be work again. And this method also support the OTA update. That means you can directly update to the new version from the device settings and it will not lock again. So it will work good even after you update your MacBook. So that's all for today's video session and I hope you gained some knowledge and please like this video and share with your friends and please support my channel by subscribing it and if you have any queries you can write down in the comment. Alright so we will meet again in another exciting video session so till then goodbye take care and peace out.